Hey guys, did you hear the legendary pirate Blackbeard is recruiting members for his crew? In today's challenge, we're gonna find out what it takes to become as fit as a pirate. That's right, Ryan. Come with us as we get through the dangerous shark infested waters, climb aboard a haunted ship, and beat the mysterious ghost of the haunted ship to become the next ultimate legendary pirate captain. It's time to get ionic. Let's go! Welcome to Ryan's world. <sighs> oh, greetings everyone. Exciting news. A pirate captain has docked in our area and he's looking for the best sailors to join his crew. <sighs> That's why I'm training. Wow, popsicles. <laughs> Don't worry, Peg, it's just me. Say, are you also learning to be a pirate? Indeed I am. However, I don't feel as if I'm making particularly good progress. The pirate captain said he wants sailors who are strong, cunning, and great shipmates. I don't know if that's me. Well, my feathered friend, it just so happens that I've heard of a legendary pirate training obstacle course nearby. If you and I can complete this course, then together we may learn to be strong, cunning, and great shipmates. Oh! Spectacular! Let's get Ionic! Like that. But we are! The first requirement the pirate captain asks of us is to build our strength. So consider me your new fitness instructor. And to get out of this room, I say we must do 10 push ups. Oh, becoming a pirate isn't easy. Right? The cool thing though is that it gets easier the more you do it. For example, did you know each time you use a muscle, it gets tiny tears in it? These tears are why you might feel sore after a long day of manning the ship, or you know, playing around on the playground. But over time, these tears heal, and when they do, the muscle comes back stronger than it was before. Take this stick of uncooked spaghetti, for example. If there's one or two, they're weak. But if there's a bunch of them, Voila! They're strong! Now, how about we bask in the sun here for a while? No time! Avast! Looks like we must sail the high seas and learn to be a cunning sailor! <laughs> hey, I really like your outfit. Yo, thank you. I got it from. No time! Let's go! <laughs> this water is pretty cold. And that's saying something for me. I'm a penguin. You're right. This icy water, combined with the exercise we're getting, is a great way to grow our cunning. Every time a pirate, or anyone for that matter, goes for a swim, jogs, dances, or does any exercise at all, new neurons are formed in the brain. Neurons are the little messengers that carry information throughout the whole body. The more neurons you have, the better your focus, your memory, and your problem-solving abilities. I see. So going for a swim now builds neurons, which will help us later decipher treasure maps, solve riddles, and stay one step ahead of our foes. Uh, speaking of which... Shark! Sharks! Dr. Ion, look over here! A pirate ship! Really? Let's climb aboard. Uh, that was a close one. I have to say, Dr. Ryan, despite being tired, I also feel pretty good. 
Well, that makes sense. This just may be the key to gaining the third pirate requirement, being a good shipmate. Every time we go outside and exercise, our brain releases lots of chemicals. One of these is endorphins, and they make you feel good. Humans produce endorphins so we can accomplish difficult tasks. Endorphins help us lower stress, relieve pain, and improve our mood. Which makes us good shipmates. But Dr. Ion, how are we supposed to produce endorphins in this ship here? I don't see any challenges awaiting us. I do. Look. No, not that. Look. <laughs> it's me, the janitor. You're stuck in my obby. To become a pirate, you gotta defeat me. <laughs> uh, wait. Janitor? Is that you? You know, there was a spill accident, and I was cleaning it up. And anyway, who, it doesn't matter. Who is the new guy? No, not him. Hi, I'm Dr. I. Anyway, Peck, we can take him. Yes! Defeating him will produce plenty of endorphins. Ah! Ah! Janitor. Oh, I'm so sorry. Take that, you janitor! Does this count as exercise? I really feel those endorphins kicking in. <sighs> Me too. So whether you're wrestling, jogging, dancing, or playing sports, doing anything that gets your heart pumping and blood flowing, you're producing endorphins. Yeah, and in turn, it makes you a better shipmate. Endorphins help us bond with the people that we're playing with. And it also helps create team spirit. Hey, spirit, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Wait, uh, Ghost Janitor, we got him. We did it. We defeated the obby and learned to become professional pirates. Oof, what a workout. Now that that's over, let's go over one of the most important parts of exercise, recovery. Ah, a nice healthy smoothie with some relaxing quiet time. A perfect after exercise combination. Feels good, huh? It sure does. Remember Peck, after exercising, it's important to let your muscles heal so they can come back stronger. I never realized exercise did so many amazing things for our bodies. It strengthens our bones and muscles, boosts our mood, improves our memory and focus, and even helps us sleep better. Exactly. Now let's see how much your memory has improved with a pop quiz. What's the chemical compound our body produces during a workout that makes us feel good? Is it A, neuron, B, endorphins, C, glucose, or D, lactic acid? Hmm. It's B, endorphins. This chemical makes us feel better so we can accomplish difficult things. That's correct, Peck. Great job. Well, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay ionic. Yar! Here comes the strongest, cunningest, best shipmate penguin pirate you've ever seen. <laughs> so about your janitor friend, is he like a regular janitor or like, like a pirate janitor? I don't know. Do you think we'll see him again? Hey, who left this mess here? Trash goes in the trash bin. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> Smells like Dr. Ion. I'll get you, Dr. Ion. I'm wetty, I'm wetty. I'm so wetty. I'm like, what are we so wetty? Looks like we must sail the high seas and learn to become a yeah, cunning sailor. <laughs> get away from my purse. So sorry. Whoa, really? No, I don't like that. Whoa, it's a wave. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.